Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dana from This Pixie Creates, and we are kicking our second month off for the Potholders Galore Crochet along with the Houndstooth Potholder. This is a double thick potholder that uses a single crochet and double crochet stitch to create this beautiful texture. Whether you use one color, two, or more, you'll have a beautiful pot holder. So I hope you guys enjoy the pattern. Let's gather our supplies and get started. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is pick two contrasting colors, a light and a dark. So I'm going with this light gray for color A. You want color A to be the lightest color and then color B will be the darker color. So I'm just using this dark pink. With color A, we're going to make a slip knot, place it on our hook and tighten it up. Chain 33. Now we're going to make a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to count backwards, one, two, three, into this third chain, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, so we have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, and pull through the last two loops. Into the next chain, we're going to make a single crochet. So insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. We have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Into the next chain, we're going to make a double crochet. Into the next chain, make a single crochet, and so on. Double crochet, single crochet, until we get to the end of the row. Okay guys, we have one chain remaining for our row. So this one we're going to start with a double crochet. And this is actually going to be our corner stitch. So what we're going to do is we're also going to make a single crochet in that chain. So we have a double and a single in the last chain of the row. Now rotate your work. So now we're working along the bottom of our chain. So we're going to skip this first chain and we're going to work a double crochet in the bottom of the next chain. So right where that single crochet is. Into the next chain, we're going to make a single crochet, to the next chain, a double crochet, followed by a single crochet in the next chain. So we know we're doing this correctly if we're making a single crochet into a matching double crochet from the top of round one, and we're making a double crochet into the matching single crochet from the top of round one. Okay guys, we are at the end of the round. We have one more chain to work into. So we're going to end by making a single crochet into that last chain of the round. Now this is what it looks like. And you can mark the last stitch of the round. We're going to make a slip stitch to join our round. So we're going to find that first stitch of the round this right here is our chain two, and this is our double crochet. So going into both loops of our double crochet, we're gonna insert our hook with our current color, and now before we complete that final yarn over, we're gonna drop our color, and we're gonna change to color B. So with color B, we're gonna pick it up with our hook, and pull it through that stitch and the loop on our hook to close. 
Now pull our old color and the tail of our new color so that the stitch kind of closes a little bit. I also want you guys to mark where we made that join. So that first stitch of round one, we're gonna mark it. This is where round two will end, and this right here is where round two will begin. Turn your work. We're gonna make sure that our old color is draped to the back of our work. We're gonna need that for the next round. So chain two to start your round. It doesn't count as a stitch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find this stitch marker. We're gonna take it out. And this is where we're gonna place our first stitch of the round. We're gonna insert our hook we're gonna make a double crochet. And I want you guys to mark that stitch with your stitch marker, just so that it's easy to find. Into the next stitch, you guys can see this is a double crochet here. So we're gonna make a single crochet. Into the single crochet, we're gonna make a double crochet. And into the next double crochet, we're gonna make a single crochet. So we're gonna repeat this all the way around, alternating between a double and a single crochet. And you know you've done this correctly if your double crochets are worked into the single crochet from round one, and your single crochets are worked into a double crochet from round one. All right guys, when we reach the corner or the rounded edge of round two, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue working as normal. So the last stitch that I worked was a single crochet. So in the next stitch, I'm just gonna work a double crochet like normal into the following stitch, a single crochet, and then I'll officially make it around the corner and it will just be continued flat work around round two. We've reached the end of round two where that stitch marker is so we're just going to remove it and we're going to work a single crochet into that last stitch of round two. And mark this stitch with your stitch marker. This is going to be the first stitch of round three. Now it's time to close our round so we're going to remove that stitch marker this is the first stitch of round two. So we're gonna insert our hook into this stitch, drop our current color, pick up the old color, pull it through the stitch and the loop on your hook. And we're gonna mark this stitch with our stitch marker. To start round three, we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna make sure that our old color, color B, is placed to the back of our work so that we can access it for the next round. And we're gonna chain two to start round three. We have a stitch marker here that tells us where to begin round three, so remove it. And into this single crochet, we're gonna make a double crochet which is our first stitch of the round. Mark it with your stitch marker. So round three is the exact same as round two. We're gonna start with a double crochet and we're gonna end with a single crochet. So into that next stitch, we're gonna make single crochet. Into the next stitch, a double crochet. Into the next stitch, a single crochet, and so on. And the way that we know that we're doing this right is each single crochet should be worked into a double crochet from the previous round and every double crochet should be worked into a single crochet from the previous round. All right guys, we're at the end of round three. So this is what our pot holder is looking like so far. You can't tell right now, but eventually, after we work a few more rounds, your pot holder is going to straighten out and it's gonna become a little pouch. We've arrived at our stitch marker, so we're gonna remove it. And into that double crochet, we're gonna insert our hook and make a single crochet and mark this stitch with your stitch marker. Now to close the round, we're gonna go into that first stitch of round three. 
So remove your stitch marker, insert your hook into that stitch, drop your current color, pick up your old color, color B, and pull it through the stitch and the loop on your hook and use color A to tighten up that join. Mark this stitch with a stitch marker because this is going to be the final stitch of round four. Turn your work and chain two, and we're gonna repeat round two all over again. We're gonna do this for a total of 26 rounds, so we should end on color B, and I'll show you guys how to seam your pot holder closed and add a chain circle. Okay guys, we are at the end of round 26. So we've reached our stitch marker. So what we're gonna do is remove it. Going into that first double crochet of the round, we're gonna make a slip stitch, this time completing that final yarn over with our current color because we're not gonna be changing color anymore. Now I want you guys to check that the right side of your work is facing you. So the way to check this is your lighter color, so like the first color that we started with, color A, it should be very prominent. So it's gonna be that bulky, kind of puffed out stitch. And the darker color, color B, is going to be kind of hidden or kind of tucked away between these puffed out stitches. This is the inside here. As you guys can see, this is the wrong side because color A is kind of tucked away and color B is the puffed out stitch. This is my personal preference. I just find that this side here is prettier, but if you guys like the other side, then flip your work inside out before we start to close the top of our pot holder. So what we're gonna do is basically lie our pot holder flat so that our stitches line up. And without chaining one, we're gonna insert our hook into the first stitch and the matching stitch at the back. So going through both of those stitches, we're gonna yarn over and make a slip stitch. So we're gonna do this all the way across. We're gonna go into the next stitch, insert your hook into that front stitch, and insert your hook into the back stitch, yarn over, pull it through both stitches and the loop on your hook. Insert your hook into the front and back stitch, yarn over, pull through both stitches and the loop on your hook. Keep going. We're gonna do this all the way across. So we're at the last two stitches of the round. So we're gonna insert our hook into that front and back, make our last slip stitch, and this is what our flat close looks like. Now we're going to take the time to add a chain circle. So I'm gonna chain 13, one, two, three, four, 12, 13. Now that we have a chain 13, we're gonna go into this first chain, we're gonna insert our hook under that side loop, and then you'll also, if you turn your work to the side, you'll see one at the back. We're gonna go under both of those loops, yarn over, and pull through the loop on your hook to make a slip stitch and to close that circle. So at this point, you guys can go around this chain circle with single crochets, but I just kind of like the simple chain look. So I'm gonna fasten off by yarning over, pulling through that loop on my hook to make a nice long tail, and trimming it. At this point, grab your yarn needle, thread it with your tail, and we're gonna insert our hook into that center of our pot holder. So between our front and back side, insert your yarn needle, pull that tail through, 
and that kind of closes up that chain circle so it looks seamless. What I like to do is just secure it with a little knot. Weave it through a few more stitches going into that center of our pot holder. Pull it out the other side and trim my tail. I hope you guys enjoy this pot holder. Let me know in the comments down below how yours turned out. And if you would like to share a picture, you can find the link to the Facebook Crochet Along group in the description box below. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.